Hi, this is Gazelle and... Hi, I'm Tim. So, I've been posting a few videos before. I have to speak English purely in this video. Tim's very shy. That's not true. He is. <laughs> and he's completely the opposite character of me. Yeah? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Anyway, today uh, we're going to show Tim five Persian foods. Uh, however, we don't have them right here because I didn't really know where to get them. He's a pescatarian. Could you please explain what or who is a pescatarian? Basically, I used to be a full vegetarian, but now I don't eat any meat, but I eat plenty of fish and seafood. Uh, yeah, anything except for red meat and chicken, white meat as well, chicken, turkey. Well, I would yep. say fish could be also white meat, isn't it? But it's yeah. considered as a seafood. Yeah, I'm not really a vegetarian at all because I eat fish. Yeah. yeah, and also he's not a vegan. Yeah, let's move on to the main subject. So I'm going to show him a few pictures, a few uh, videos, basically. I'm going to start with calipache. So calipache is lamb's head, and it's also coming with oh, better not explain it. But lamb's head. Lamb's head. Yeah, lamb's head. I'm going to show it. We, we we say we call it uh, kalapoche. Sounds different. So short form of kalapoche is kalapch. Kalach. Kalapch. Kalapch. Yeah. Kalapoche. You're not gonna. You're you're definitely not gonna like it. So he's making kalapch. Is it like sheep sheep's heads in a stew. Doesn't sound like a cup of tea. Yeah, I know. And is it nice? Kalapache, gosh, she's asking me if it's nice or not. It it really depends. I I used to eat it, but since I moved here, I stopped eating it. I can't really find a place to have it. Um, I don't know, but well, you you're not gonna eat it, I think. How do you feel about it? About kalapache? You feel like that you're eating a lamb's hair, the sheep's hair. How do you feel about it? Yeah, it's definitely not my cup of tea. That's oh. for sure. <laughs> so they're like, do you hate it when you actually look at it? What do you think? What do you think of Iranians eating such a thing? Uh, well, it's good that they actually eat it because it's, it's part of the dead animal. So yeah, whether it's... The point is... Eating um, the leg or breast or head do yeah. people do well, people in here eat uh, such thing in this country um, mm, I'm not too sure I think a lot of the Indian community do or something similar possibly I see okay uh, but yeah British people no <laughs> no they don't let's move on to uh, lamb's tripe or uh, sheep's tripe uh, that's in Farsi we call it sirabi Sirabi. Sirabi, yeah, that's uh, Sirabi. Well, it looks a bit more appetizing than the last one to me. Uh, okay, first of all, you, you've you been in Iran. We were walking in Isfahan, one of the streets. Remember uh -huh. one day you smelled something and then you were like, oh, what is that smell? And you hated that. So it was actually a smell of Sirabi. Oh, really? Yeah. It's really nice. I love it. To be honest, I really like it, but point is, it does come with a lot of uh, dirt from the actually like ugh, shit from the sheep. Really? Sheep? Yeah. It uh, comes with it. Lamps. Yeah, it comes. So you need to actually clean it, otherwise it would mm. smell horrible. So yeah, that's why it's very important how to clean the tripe. Okay, that definitely puts me off. <laughs> <laughs> I love Iranian foods, but these last two are not for me. <laughs> these two, we're still having more to show you. I'm going to show you Qurma Sabzi. How about Qurma Sabzi? What do you think of Qurma Sabzi? Yeah, I know this one. I love it. Delicious. Yeah, he knows Qurma Sabzi. He's been eating Qurma Sabzi, but the point is you're still not taking red meat in it. You're not taking any meat at all inside Qurma Sabzi. Yeah, true. So do you remember what was inside Qurma Sabzi? Uh, several kinds of herbs, or sabzi, yeah. uh, is it basil, mint, uh -huh. uh, parsley maybe. Parsley, yeah. Um, That's actually good. I don't even know that. <laughs> but he knows it. Oh, impressive. 
Okay. Uh, red kidney beans. Yeah, but the point is, there are some people who are making it with different type of beans. Okay. So this is Roman Sadza, you knew it already. We're moving to, of course, Gaime. This is your favorite. Tim knows a story about Gaime. You were saying something that it might come from Iran to Parsi people in India. Because it's quite similar to, what's that food in Indian? It's an Indian food. Oh yeah, the Indian curry. Uh, it's called dansak. Yeah, dansak. Um, but they say it's the Parsis cook it in India. Yeah. So it's, a, it's very similar tasting, but with more spice added. Yeah. And really delicious too. Mm. It's always my favorite when I go to the Indian. Yeah, well, game A is definitely your favorite. Yep. I think game is my favorite Persian <laughs> food. <laughs> The next one is because he's been in Iran and he knows that I'm Isfahanian. I'm from Isfahan, a city in Iran. And uh, the very traditional food uh, from Isfahan is um, biryani. Quite different from the biryani in Indian food, it's Indian cuisine. Uh, this one comes with a mixture, it comes with a mixture of um, lambs. Lungs? Lambs, lungs? Lungs, yeah. Oh. Or also it would come with, again, Hot. I don't know where it stops. Iranians eating oh, okay. anything inside of sheep and lambs. They don't really want to waste it. So when the Indians do biryani, it's often with chicken or different also vegetables or also lamb meat, sometimes. Yeah, lamb. I guess the probably the Parsis also took it biryani to India. Yeah. That's a guess. Yeah. Could be a guess. You told me that Gaime is definitely your favorite. What other Iranian foods your favorite? Ashreshta, I really uh, love. Ashreshta, that's definitely your choice, isn't it? Yeah, he's, he's always going for Ashreshta. And how about Mizagasemi? Yeah, that's really nice. Is that the one with um, aubergine. aubergine and yeah. egg? Egg and, and tomato. garlic and tomatoes, yeah. Yeah, really nice. So basically, because you're a vegetarian, pescatarian, you love Mizagasemi. Also, Fasenjan. So, oh, yeah, Fasenjan, yeah. I've Fasenjan. tried some vegetarian version. Yeah, yeah. So, Tim's been traveling to Iran five or six times. Five times. Five, yeah. Five times, yeah. He's right. All right, so here was the very first episode of Asking Tim. I hope you liked this video. Also, give us more ideas what you want us to make. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Also, hit the subscribe button and tell us your ideas. And a thumbs up. And a thumbs up. Please like this video. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.